Hey friends, I just put on my most sort of big sweater that I have on. It's really big, it's really comfortable, and again, if you don't like it from now on, you should like it. So today is really exciting because today is the first hits and oh god knows of November. So this is sort of my favorites of November, um, hits and shits from I Call It Ambrosia of November. This is sort of the, it's just the hits and oh god knows of November. I'm really excited for this and let's just get right to it. The first thing that I've been loving this month is this L'Oreal Color Reach Le Col in number 114 Lavender or Breezy Lavender. And this is a really bright purple, sort of blue, lavender, <laughs> lavender. Huh. It's purple with a sheen of blue and in some lights it's even more purple and then it's blue and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's super duper pigmented, it's soft, it stays on, it's not perfect for on your waterline because it is gonna transfer and stuff but I really like it. Then even more pencils that I really, really love are the NYX Stay On, wait, Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. What the hell were you thinking, NYX? Despite the name, these are amazing. They are super duper waterproof. They are pigmented, they stay on like a dream, and the colors are amazing. I have a few more, but this is the brown, wait, let me, brown, black, which the black is really black. They glide on without any problem. That's the copper. These are absolutely amazing and they stay on your waterline for hours. I'm wearing the brown one on my waterline right now and I absolutely love it. So if I could really recommend eye coals that are cheap, NYX slide on and then the rest what they say and the L'Oreal ones are really good. But the L'Oreal is not really for on your waterline. Then a new found love this month was Ember Lights Eyeshadow by MAC. I've had this for years, probably since I started using makeup and I kind of rediscovered it this month because I work at Millionaires and I do the girls with the with the with the prizes in their coffers coffer girls and I'm in the team to do makeup and amber lights is sort of like the go-to color that I use for my girls because it kind of really suits every girl that I have so I've been using amber lights a lot lately and I used it in my Taylor Swift AMA 2012 look that I uploaded a couple of days ago and I just love this color it's warm it's it's shiny it's pigmented and it's sort of it looks good on everybody and then sort of staying in the gold themes this is opi Eyes Golden Eye Nail Polish. I've been wearing this in my last couple of videos and people have been going insane over this. In real life, people have been going insane over this. Sort of everywhere I went, people were like, what is on your nails? Well, not like that, but they really went like, what is on your nails? I have to know because it's such a glamorous color and it's so unique. I absolutely love Golden Eye from the Opie Eye Skyfall collection. This is in my eyes the best one from the entire collection, so get it while you can. Then I also wanna show you my favorites from the China Glaze Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away collection. This collection is so much fun because it has all these bright colors that kinda anyone loves. And I'm wearing the bright pink right now and this is called Escaping Reality. So this is what is on me right now. They also have It's a Trap Ease. It's a trap! Ease. It's a trap! Ease. It's like an ice cream glitter in in a pot. I absolutely love this. And then I also really, really love Creative Fantasy. This is like a really bright purple, but still dark. And you don't see that a lot. Like a really dark purple, but it's bright. And I love that. Also, what I've been loving this month is I did a shoot with Bianca Toops from FashionMilk.com. And we did the Fashion Milk 3.0 shoot. I've done two before. And we did the class of 2012 with sort of like four stereotypical girls. So we had uh, the babe. Uh, the bitch and we had the rebel and we had the cutie it's even the background of my phone i love it that much so i have a full blog post on this on my website called nakedtutorials.com and i have a full blog post with every picture and i sort of describe why i chose 
each look and what sort of highlight products I use for each look. So definitely go check that out on my blog and uh, a link is down below. Then I've also been loving The Walking Dead and American Horror Story this month, my perfect shows this month. Uh, the Walking Dead really has stepped up their game since season three, um, you know, with two really big persons, people, person, people dying. And next week is the season, like the mid-season finale. And for me, the mid-season finales of The Walking Dead is, is like the episode where the most people die and where you cry the most. So I'm fully like mentally preparing for this Sunday already. And then American Horror Story is batshit crazy. And I absolutely love everything about it. Like we have the guy that takes off skin and everything. It's amazing. This season of American Horror Story and The Walking Dead are perfection. Then a couple of days ago, I went to the movie Sinister with my best friend and that was, it was really good, except for I didn't really, really love the end. But I really loved Sinister. When I saw the trailer a couple of months ago, I was so like, even the trailer scared me to shit. There was this part where there was like a really big shock and then me and my friend, we kind of screamed, like we literally went like, ah! and then we sort of started like a scream wave. Like we started the scream and then the entire audience that was watching Sinister went like, ah! so I was like, oh my God, you know that movie when there's like this person totally trying to make people clap for something that's happened and people are like, Stop clapping. It's not the right moment. I don't know what movie that is. And this is sort of like I started a scream that my best friend followed and then the entire audience followed. So it kind of went like, ha, ha, ha. So that was really funny. I was like inside my head. I was like, oh my God, I started a scream wave. I can die now. <laughs> Goodbye. My favorite YouTuber this month is Dusty O Hunter. Dusty O Hunter is like the the king of reviews and and sort of making people buy stuff. His reviews are the best and with Halloween he had this amazing series. This guy just screams intelligence and I look up to him and he started following me on Twitter like today and I'm so proud of myself that Dusty O Hunter is following me. He's a great guy, he's amazing, and you best believe it's gonna be flaming. Then I didn't really have a lot of oh god no's this month, but I had a couple, and um, here we go. Oh god! No. The first oh god no is the no mirror makeup challenge. Just no. It's just, I'm so over this challenge and no. Just no. Damn girl, no. The second oh god no is the Yves Saint Laurent touche éclat, touch my clit. It, it didn't touch my clit. It just never did. It's people are raving about this as if it's like, their holy grail concealer. And someone forgot to mention that it's not a concealer, it's just a highlighter, and it's not a really pretty highlighter. And every time I use it, I'm like, you can't even see it. Nope. No, just d no. And then the last, oh God knows from this month are, and this breaks my heart, the Vampire Diaries and Revenge. Two of my all time favorite shows, the new seasons, they're kind of like, what is happening? I don't understand. Especially Revenge. I, I am a huge Revenge lover. You all know how much I love season one. Season one had cliffhangers. It had really interesting storylines and everything was kind of, anything could happen. And this season two, we're at episode seven or eight now and I'm just like, same goes for the Vampire Diaries. I am, I know this is gonna hurt a lot of people and it hurts my heart a little bit as well. I'm kind of over it. It's, I love, love, love this show and I was totally obsessed with the show. I wanted to be in the show and now I'm like, Elena, you annoy me. Stefan, you look like Justin Bieber. Damon, you're freaking hot, but stop. And Jeremy and... And the only two I still care for are Lexi, she's dead, and then we have Rebecca, and she dies every two episodes. So I'm like, 
anyone else could love what they're doing with the seasons right now. But for me right now, it's sort of like... So yeah, guys, that was my first hits and oh God knows from November. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned, go to my website, nickytutorials.com. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. And hopefully I will see you guys in December, which starts tomorrow. Bye.